what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so today watsi is releasing the entire set of ravnica remastered and i'm here to react this whole stream this whole full hour stream uh and it's like i really want to see what what are the cards that's going to be in the set what shenanigans they're going to be pulling on the set so you know it, it's a very long video so let's get on to it man so alrighty, let's let's go man let's go today to do something we i don't think we've ever done before on this show which is review like re reveal like most blake of and carmen basically i mean not the whole thing but not not the whole thing not, not the whole thing <laughs> so you may have seen yesterday on Tolarian community college uh Tolarian community college some of what's coming on shuffle up and play oh did they, uh, they did they release like some of the cards -ish card was, something. i think it was maybe a little higher maybe 40 ish or yeah. something yeah but, but like wow. and we're gonna like triple that what is um, cuz the gloves are off given that's going to be Tolarian right. community and college now we're gonna talk some, about some new cards that we're going to talk about all the cool treatments and tons of rares uncommons commons whole thing um and i should let's my reveal dad, the whole thing comparing who is here howdy uh she was the lead on the set knows everything there is to know oh, wow. about Ravnica remastered and so much She's more the, about uh, the past of Ravnica. The lead for this set. Like last 10 minutes just talking about Easily. old draft formats set in the world of Ravnica. It's a good so, thing she wasn't uh, if we go off the She rails, wasn't included we on the, the day, 1100 uh, that got fired very by Hasbro, right? About this set and and Ravnica remastered and all we have to offer. So, uh we're going to we're going to dive into it. Uh yeah. it is uh I will note before we get started. Interesting. Throwback. We've got a lot of cards over here. Game sure. pieces. Uh, also happening today on Magic Gathering Arena. Concert a lot of order. Here is being re-released as well. Uh, what? Fetch clans and Concert Dark Air? Goodness. So. Oh, in, in Magic Arena. And want to get your take oh shit. Of a little bit. Little Fetch lands in uh, Magic Arena. Is there for you? And if wow. You're on the tabletop side of things, we're here to talk about Ravnica Remastered and Phil all of it all right, all right let's let's go so let's jump into it we're gonna in one gonna hour man come on blake about the let's go structure of the set and, and where you're pulling cards from and and also just show off some cool cards uh the first card we have is an oldie but a goodie oldie but Cloud goodie Stone curio Cloudstone curio so, right off the bat so these are the three treatments <sighs> as expected man okay so we have it's a good card a very good card but i think isn't this like expedition right yep. or uh Kaladesh. So Kaladesh invention oh man that japanese version i don't know man mixed feelings about that art but it's crazy how they're adding japanese on Ravnica. Yeah. That's true. Speaking of which, so this, you know, when yeah. we talk about Ravnica Remastered, this is War of the Spark kind of introduced the, the whole Japanese thing. Including and it was a it was a huge thing, man. Card. Huge big deal. There it is. Oh, nope, that's not the card. <laughs> We've got Nickel Bolas Dragon God. There it is. Uh so talk a little bit about where you pull <laughs> Nickel Bolas. So it actually goes even a little bit further than just sets that took It's place weird that Ravnica. there's War of the Spark in Ravnica, right? Ravnica. Okay. I don't know the lore, so like the whole plane thing, but. You know Krinko lives on Ravnica. Yeah. And we know people love Krinko. And if we're going to give people the best of Ravnica, mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to leave those characters off just because they happen to originally be in uh, a powerful card, though. Like any, uh, right. any Nickel so Bolas fan out there? All right, so if they're set on Ravnica and people enjoy them, probably in this set. Exactly. Okay, cool. Well, um, now that's not to say that we don't... Th this set does have a pretty strong guild theme to it, though, obviously, right? Right. When obviously. When we were designing, especially the gameplay of the set, the first thing that we cared about was guilds first. These yeah. are the things that you'll hear people say... Yeah, Ravnica is famous the about mage, on their guilds, man. The logos is tattoos. Mm -hmm. We knew that is what people love about Ravnica, and so first and foremost, we wanted the guilds to be the star. Yep. And so yeah. a couple... We're gonna, I don't know if they're going to do the, the whole foiling thing. ...around the guilds, because... Ravnica. With Ravnica, uh, we do have a couple uh, guild. You know, like in the in the text. Uh, to show you off, 
Uh, Those Robbie, are very popular, man. Right here is Savra, Queen of the Golgari, and Oldie But a Goodie with. Only but Judy, look at that Japanese art, man. Beautiful. Beautiful Japanese. Uh, I think this card still does quite a bit of work. Yeah, it's so nice in Commander. Mm. I think one of the luxuries of a remaster set like this is you get to revisit characters who are dead. I've been yeah. playing. I don't know about the, the, the gold border, though. I ever was good at was Retro Zabra. version. The first books I read where I believe Sabra dies. So it's pretty hard for us to... It looks the same though as the old ones. Yeah, here. right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, whenever death is your guild's whole thing, well... <laughs> man, that Japanese art so though, that, really the foiling for that? Oh man, frames. that's gonna be yep. sick. If you like this card, playing with it, this is how to get new versions of it. This is the way to upgrade them. Yep, absolutely. Mm. Uh, next up, we have Karlov of the Ghost Council. Is he good? So this was a this was one of those cards you were talking about, uh, relatively new <laughs> addition to the world of Mystic. Mythic for this. Right. This is one that is pulling from a commander deck, right, mm -hmm. or a commander. Release, I think all the borderless. Everyone knows this is the order borderless and extended yeah. are right. all so Japanese. This could be included, and players who think what are the coolest. Not sure if those are going to be like serialized cards, but. And know that we did everything we could, right? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is this is a fan favorite. Really cool card, and I've got a couple to Yeah, good commander. Okay, so let's, um, we've kind of talked about that overall structure, but this set is also meant to be drafted, correct? Yes. Yeah, oh, so talk thank about God, the right? makeup of the packs a little bit. But isn't this like so in the beginning packs, of play we boosters? We have what is called a mana slot. A mm -hmm. lot of oh. things are going to be your normal draft booster, what you would expect from that. Yeah. But I'm going to draft the set, man. Plan, it's a uh, mana slot, and that could contain... It's kind of like in the middle of being a master uh, set, and a which I think we have regular regular Perfect. you know standard you set. Could get a signet, mm -hmm. and finally oh, you same. even get a rare in this. The OG so arts, they're using the OG arts. Either a shock land or the card chromatic lantern. But that's nice. They're that using the OG arts. That a lot of people are going to care about whenever they engage with this set. Mm -hmm. So giving people extra opportunities to open them with a chromatic lantern. Yeah. Right, that's just the cool. Uh, this card's probably like a dollar now. Watery grave, yep. stomping ground, whatever it is. Yep. And that was a gimmick in previous Ravnica sets mm -hmm. as well. So like, uh, I believe it was multiple Ravnica reprints, man. Like Commander decks. I think it's in Warhammer too. Level, you can also get a chromatic lantern in that slot, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Right, this just lets you live your five-color dream yep. if you open it in uh, in one of your draft packs. Mm. Yep. Uh, and we didn't show them, but uh, as a note, the Guild Gates will have retro frame versions as well. You can see those. Wow, that's interesting. After the conclusion retro of the version of All right, like, so the way we're gonna these common now, Guild Gates. We're just going to go Guild by Guild. And right? we're going to show off cool stuff that each of the, the Guilds have. We're going to go through... Uh, Mythic rares and rares, uncommons, commons, booster fun. Um, booster fun. Talk about the archetypes. So let's kick it off with alphabetically first. Booster fun. Game pieces. So some classic Azorius staples here. Oh man, Lavinia bulk. Yeah, and this one we really just Sphinx Revelation. I think it's still played, right? I think it's still a decent card in Commander. So a lot of these are going to end up skewing a bit more recent. Some of these are just more powerful. They still see play today. Lavinia, huge in Commander. Yep. Right, turning on free reactive spells. We also ended up leaning into the split cards. Just because I think it's bulk, though. Kind of hard to reprint outside of this card. Sphinx Revelation is very powerful. I remember playing that back in, you know, blue-white control. For various reasons. Very, very, very <laughs> powerful. <laughs> we, we were just waxing poetic, too, about Sphinx's Revelation. It's, it's time has come and gone, but boy, oh, yeah. that, boy was that the card. I don't even know if it's gone. It feels so good to it's resolve. It does. It feels really you good. You count the cards. Ah, there's so many good card draws now. Two, three, yeah. four, five, like these five. expos. I, I, I still have this in a few commander decks. It's it's still out there. Yeah. Um, all right, let's Gain live draw cards. Commons, which forms uh, some of the backbone of the drafting strategy. So we've got a Zorius. Oh, got remand. Sphinx of New Prov. Uh, Zorius uh, Justithier. Condemn and Remand. These are all the the, the uncommons. And then Sky Hussar, which Remand so powerful, man. The biggest mistake you can make with it is to actually cast it. <laughs> Condemn not so much. I mean, I right now Path to Exile and Swords to Plowshares we are the go-to commander cards. Yep. 
especially in the limited environment, we mm -hmm. tried to skew a little bit older. We wanted to give people that sort of throwback draft. That feel. hit of nostalgia. Yeah. Exactly. You can see four of these are from the original Ravnica block. Mm -hmm. And we do actually have all 10 guild mages and all 10 of the new age, what we call CCDD uncommon. Yeah. So that is the Sphinx of New Prov, CCDD, referring to the colored pips in the top right corner. Yep. This was something that made sure that you still got to do the multicolor thing, but you weren't being four or five color kind of mishmash of removal and card draw the whole time. You actually right. got to be hmm. an Azorius mage. Right. Azorius mage. Right, and we also see on here um, forecast as well as um, uh, why am I detain? Detain. Thank you. Oh okay, yeah, the OG. Um, uh, how did you forecast? work out the mechanics that were chosen for this set? So we actually ended up trying out, I think, all of them. I think we literally tried all of them. Jeez, we all of them? With 26 hmm. of 29 okay. actually making into the set at the end. Unfortunately, um, some of them didn't quite hold up to modern heuristics, or the cards were too weak, or didn't play as well as mm -hmm. we necessarily thought they would. In the yeah, magic is way okay. too much. But Deep these in like all these different abilities, yeah, and so it was important, you know, different spells. That's why I said, you know, like new players, I don't think commander is like really good for for them to start with, you know. So, just tons of mechanics back. Which three didn't make the cut? Uh, all right, so Cypher didn't mm -hmm. end up making it. Most of the cards were just Cypher. a little bit too weak for limited, yeah. and you know, uh, Cypher, yeah. undergrowth, I think, was the one we tested the most and had cards coming in and out of the file. Huh. And it ended up kind of falling under gross. Right on Not the bad. Okay. It's a little bit hard to make that one work as consistently as we wanted. Sure. No other drafters really wanted it. Yep. Really? Uh, and then finally, Radiance was one where the oh, cards were too weak, but too frequently people were shocked that it was symmetrical. In fact, mm. if you've ever cast Bright Flame and wrapped your own side as well, right? You just kind of yeah. At one point, we even looked at Bright Flame as a possible downshift to Uncommon as a sort of CCDD card. Sure. Right? So go, oh, this, you know, this will be fun. This is cool. This is, a lot of master <laughs> sets have this downshift. And then exactly like you said, someone yeah. wiped their own board and went, wait oh. a second. It, it was like the minute this. The minute you do that and then your opponent points it out to you, yeah. you're just like, yep. oh, yeah. Right, exactly. And we just, it's going to be a, just a good experience probably in, drafting in, this set, in man. The so. where people who would know this I hope there's work. like a, a few drafters uh, you know, maybe this is actually taking away more fun than in the that. stores mm -hmm. yep. when this comes out. Sense. I'm on board. Um, as someone who, who did the bright <laughs> A lot of great cards, man. You know, Ravnica is a really, really time. nice set to draft. That card looks so, it looks it's so always good. nice, man. Uh, all right, now let's look at uh, some of the commons from the Azorius Guild. Commons? Uh, some, some fantastic ones here and some ones that have even seen a little bit of constructed play. I remember oh, them. Judges Familiar. Judges with, Familiar? Uh, and then a lot of I thought that was, that was uh, uncommon. As well. Yeah, and something that huh. I think this slide does a good job illustrating is how proactive a lot of Azorius is. Yeah. So this is sort oh, of there's going to be a lot of probably cards that are like downshifted. Attacking people, mm -hmm. dealing damage because multicolor sets so frequently lend themselves to slow, grindy, attrition stuff that's naturally going to happen, which means we need to sort of pressure the other direction on purpose in order to make sure that games are taking eight, ten turns instead of 20. Yep. Hmm. Uh, someone in chat noticed that Judge is Familiar got a downshift. How oh, yeah. See? much in this set did you do downshifting or upshifting? It varies a little bit, right? It's I want to make sure that we show some love to the popper community. We thought Judges Familiar would be a really cool downshift. Yep. There are a couple others that we're going to get to show off here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think it is popper. quite as many as some past remastered sets, given okay. that so much of Ravnica has sort of taken place in the modern era. It's closer to I our can't believe we're coming back. Yeah. Sticks around rarity. <laughs> but Ravnica, man. As evidenced by Judges Familiar, it's not that it's a complete drought. Yep. Crazy. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to keep going alphabetically, so we're going to move on to... Oh, wait, actually, no. We're going to see the Booster Fun, because we have some additional Booster Fun here. Booster Fun. Uh, and this is where we can see some of those... Oh, we got some uh, retro cards. Of some of the cards you called out as being... Those... I guess Sphinx, of, yeah, Sphinx Revelation is probably that's, that's the first like retro. Mm -hmm. an and maybe Condemned, too. Right. I, don't, I, I can't... I don't it's, know. I, I have a Commander deck, a Blue-White Commander deck, actually, that is entirely retro-framed. All right, Blake. Older cards. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, you got um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got a full deck. It's all retro. Um, yeah, some of the others will be some 
great addition. All right. Next up, let's see Boros. Boros. Rares from that. We have a wide range Halkai of Tyrant. Here. We've got Blazing Archon, an occasional reanimation target. Hellkite Tyrant. Oh, and man, just, just looking at these cards, man. Kind of very Actually, underwhelming, though. Kind of just making sure that we got the cool stuff from Ravnus. I don't know yeah. if they're saving some cards, but sure that these are all we'll ideas. see. Tournament staples or something to that effect, but some of these are just fan favorites, right? People love playing with Yeah, they're good cards. Tyrant. They're decent yeah, cards, but... Cool. Man, so cool. as far as, like, new set, remastered set... You look at it and you go, oh, six mana, six power dragon, I don't know about this, but then someone steals your Vettelkin Orrery yeah. or whatever with it, and you realize, oh, there, there's a lot going on here. Yep. Mm. And it, it happens to say you win the game if you if you have 20 or more artifacts. Not hard with tokens. Not these days. It was a lot harder. <laughs> Back in my day, it was a lot harder. <laughs> Back right, in my day. Boros Uncommons. We've, of course, got the Guild Mage and True Ooh, Lightning Helix. There's that Lightning Helix that uh, mm. we just actually announced is going to be standard legal come mm -hmm. Murders of Karlov Manor. What? So you can get this version, you can get that version. Oh, it's, it's going to be in Karlov Manor. Slate of and some of this wasn't an accident. Standard was Lightning Helix. Wow, that's... Where we knew that Oof. Lightning Helix was going to be standard legal. Very yep. powerful card, man. And we wanted people to be able to get the original art. Some people mm -hmm. really care about which versions of the cards that they have. They yep. want to be able to express themselves in deck building when they're actually playing as well. And so making sure that this card actually made it into the set yep. was a huge priority for us. Mm. Yep. Yeah, and we'll show it in a moment, but it does get a retro. Oh, shape, yeah. Which, oh. Which looks fantastic. Do not get me started. I mean, you can get me started in a <laughs> well, second. Man, they're really but banging on all these <laughs> different variants, right, man. Especially the... the retro version because a lot of people uh, yeah, i mean we even myself like you know the nostalgia feeling of retro look of magic uh, and, uh, slew of other things that the really og like retro <laughs> look and skynet legionnaire was one of the ones we were uh, we were talking about right before the yep. show started this is one of my favorite cards maybe in all of magic where it's just so so clean you go, mm, you i don't know, even like recognize some card. of these yep. cards man I maybe the legionnaire the boros elite probably easy to figure out what they were supposed to do it's easy to forget hack. right <laughs> mixing and matching with azorius for example but definitely going to be an interesting draft forecast draft, draft experience yeah. for sure into that for us on the other hand mentor battalion face is the place baby we know what this deck is yep. doing hmm. yep now you didn't go overboard because we were talking about this before doing some borrows things Trumpeter, correct yeah, no. Bane it, of my existence. There are so many cycles in, in Ravnica that we had to basically just pick one for each sort of thing, and I thought Sky Knight Legionnaire was a bit more fun than Thundersong Trumpeter, even if the Trumpeter will always have a special place in my heart. Yeah, it'll, it'll have a special place somewhere in my memory, not, not in my heart. <laughs> far, far away from my heart. All right, <laughs> let's take a look at some of the booster fun coming out of this. We've got and there you go. You got the retro, retro, you get some yeah. Japanese version Hellkite. Yeah, Archon gets that retro style art that might be going in my blue-white deck. Uh, hmm. And then there's that retro Lightning Helix. Yes, you will be able to play that in standard come February. Tell me it just doesn't look like a card from Apocalypse or something. It does. It, it absolutely yeah. would have been in, like, Invasion. Right, and, exactly. Yeah. Invasion, Apocalypse, Some of these are, they're just the OG, like, I don't know, maybe I'm old. OG so, retro you know right gold frame. So, all right, next, let's take a trip to Demir and take a look Demir. at some of these rares. We've got Lazav, the Multifarious. Mother yeah, I don't think they're respawning all, all the rares here. So Lazav is one of these sound chests, but we did want to make sure I guess that just we some... actually had a cool legendary creature that played at least okay and limited. I and hope these are not like the, the highlights of of, of the guilds. Uh, because was the most popular card out of the original Ravnica. It's kind of uh, underwhelming. But... Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, at the time, great. it was awesome. It was like, great, that, yeah. the unthinkable. People were like, wow, what are they doing? It was yeah. so cool. And somehow that wasn't the strongest mill thing to come out of OG <laughs> Ravnica. But uh, those Mind Leech masks, I know recently, well, I say recently, a year or so ago, there was, this became more popular because of a Horror Commander pre-con that we ended up right. releasing, yep. and I was really glad to be able to kind of squeak this one in. That's good to point out, oh, because wait, 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 even though there's a lot of reprint cards, all these game pieces, all right, um, they can... All these new cards that they're printing and, and note, can affect are, easily all like the old cards. Uh, and even if Tarmogoyf, Liliana get reprinted like so many times, 
it can go back up in price due to like new demand which is impossible to beat impossible <laughs> maybe you change the uh the draft format a little bit but i could never beat that card ever isn't this uh, like a a hundred percent i think it's a hundred percent reprint set there's no new cards when i was newer where i thought you know what? right i'll lose think. life and it'll be fine yeah i don't mind losing life if i get a powerful thing for it <laughs> just being able to play with this again in limited has just kind of tickled me hmm. so tell us a little bit about what demir is trying to do in limited so Demir is actually one of the most, I would say, generic sort of decks. Okay. Right. Most of the mechanics here don't really speak to one another, or even an archetype. We've kind of made Surveil Evergreen. Yep. At this point, so it feels a bit less. Surveil is very powerful. A couple of years ago, uh, Transmute. Not really going to build a whole deck around that. It's right. just going to come up and be cool. And actually, Transmute is and very, fight. very powerful. Yep. So this is one that we ended up actually just leaning into what people expect from their blue black. It's like a tutor, it's man. A sort of slow, it's like a legit tutor. Take over the game with card advantage and removal. Which deck. Demir Guildmate does in spades. It's it's not, in my humble opinion, it's not the best long game no. Guild Mage, but it's. It's up there. It's probably top three. Oh, Long definitely. Game. I mean, this slide encompasses a lot of it, right? You have yeah, those guild mages, man. It's like a threat. like a planes walker. Yep. For the early game. A lot of abilities. All right, let's take a look at the so, commons. They're decent. That we're going to show off. So we've got some of that transmute with drift of phantasms. Uh, those of you who played the Heartbeat of Spring deck back in the day, just, hmm. uh, <laughs> palpitations right Throwing now. Throwing it back. Yep. <laughs> Balustrade Spy, banned in some formats. Hmm. Uh, Demir Honor Guard, and we've got Last Gasp, one of the original, like, premier... Last Gasp. Very nice art, man. Oh, yeah, and believe it or not, that, that card has won games in playtesting before. And oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it was Andrew Brown had uh, ended up having three or four of them in a Demir Mill deck one yep. time, and that was his case. I really hope the draft experience in this... It's gonna be like fun, man. It's a good dream. I think dream. if they I, go about that route of like this is like a, a good experience, draft experience, I think it's gonna be it's a better sell than than what they're trying to sell as far as um, you know serialized cards, you know. Because it's a full reprint set, I think, right? And you know, there's a couple of videos that a lot of people are saying that the set is like very under ordered, you know, there's not a whole lot of pre ordered uh, for this set. And I can understand, man, because I mean, we went back to Ravnica like so many times, and so, and like. All right, let's look at some of the booster fun from booster the fun. A lot of those cards that we just talked about. Plus All retro the mixture, another transmute card. Get uh, man, the that's the very first. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, gonna be a lot of cards that will have their first retro, man. So, hundred percent, a lot of people oh, will yep. will pick up these singles, man, for sure. Has the cool foil time stop yep. that just has a three-word text box. End of the turn, yeah. Right. But actually getting to do this, because we we know who's buying these cards, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know. People who are going out and getting Ravnica remastered are most... All of these retro cards, players, for sure. You know what the cards do, and you just have the ability to open yep. really cool retro frame cards, like Lazav, my Mooch Mask, mm -hmm. etc. The Shooting Star Foil. Deck. You've got the retro frame there for a lot of people love them, man. I love it, too. Yeah, that just, uh, the Mind Leech Mask, again... Reminds you of how rare... Yeah. Yeah, Those retro know, foils back in freaking Urza Saga, man. <laughs> All right. Now next, it's just everywhere. Let's move on to continuing alphabetically. We're going to go to the Golgari. And we've got Ooh, some. Ooh, nice. We've got some all time Bangers Death Right yeah. Shaman. <laughs> man, if they have a retro and version of this, that's going to look awesome. And then find finality, which. Uh, was the Grave Troll, isn't that banned? Right? Standard. I don't know. And, uh, get the reprint here. I think yeah, I've seen this here. card Honestly, no get banned it. and right, unbanned so many times. For two mana, ain't nothing. And a lot of times this six mana sort of half wrath at the right table in Commander is just going to be Plague Wind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Also, 
stay tuned for retro friends we're going to get to those in a moment mm. uh, but first wow that's right shaman we got at guard guild mage again I, putrefy I this might be the best long game guild mage oh yeah it's just it's molder just, vine cloak i remember that uh, card and yeah we got a so powerful back in the day and putrefy what's going on here yeah it, all of this just really it's almost like an um, unstoppable i think it's a mono green or red green stompy even if you aren't necessarily always counting the cards in your graveyard mm -hmm. for something like delirium or threshold or something you're always watching your graveyard yep. for golgari thug for moldervine cloak for the guild mage dredge here is one where it is a comeback of dredge cards go to your graveyard what you're going to be getting back and how that impacts the battlefield and we found golgari to be a lot of fun yeah all right well, let's look at some of the commons that help make it fun we've got disembowel just just that's just the most fun uh drudge beetle greater moss dog that, you know that card reads so plain mm. and yet it was one of my favorite <laughs> it was one of my favorite cards back in uh og ram hill giant was no joke hill, hill giant, giant with every dredge, turn every turn yeah it's when we should have known that dredge was busted <laughs> mm. i love this new art for disembowel as well it almost just like before it, there's nothing wrong with the old art, but I kind of love this I face love of this art, like yeah. sort of grim. I don't know. I'm still. Goofy, there's a yeah, few cards pack. definitely. I don't know. It, it does a really good job. It's kind of kinda like game. making me want to buy the set, but I not. Take a look at some of the booster fun. Yep. Ooh, and look at that Deathrite Shaman, bro. And death right shamans. Wow. Um, we got the little. I like that split color. I think that's the only retro card that's like that. I don't know. I might be wrong though. I was so glad to be Putrefy OG art. Most of the dredge cards in the old frame with the tombstone and everything. And I think that's nice. Definitely retro foils gonna be a big thing for these. If this is something that you think is awesome, we'd love to hear about it. Maybe some of them will be serialized. Maybe Deathrite oh, Shaman I, will be serialized. I, 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 it's already been determined. I, it's awesome. I saw one in yeah. person. I've seen a foil one in person. It just, oh my jaw dropped. I, oh, <laughs> my jaw sad. dropped. Yeah. All right. Next up. As I see the foils, the my jaw drop. And the That's how good they are. Nice. Again, we get to revisit characters who have died more of a spark <laughs> ilharg uh, but we also got ilharg the raised boar one of the many ghoul gods plus thrash ghoul gods thrash here. right and this is one where even if it wasn't necessarily as aggressive as boros right boros all about attacking gruel the creatures are the star of the show which is exactly where my happy place is personally yep. to be you know a little bit self-serving so i i really enjoy oh it's just kind of weird though that they attach war of the spark in the set creatures to the battlefield you'd have an okay time are we gonna see liliana not gruel, then finale of devastation <laughs> all right next up let's look at the uncommons and uh yeah gruel smash yeah gruel smash one of the downshifts mm -hmm. what else there's uh here. i got a That's sheep of a uh, war of the spark over there yep didn't really want it to Maybe we'll see spark coil, double but, but we did want these cards to show up because yep. they're cool i know i played a bunch of worm weaver coil with i don't know some of the finale game. maybe i don't know that was a ton of fun for you what yeah there's massacre I mean, girl yeah, that... yes. yes i get it i get it uh and then we got new art there on rhythm of the wild which is a yeah. maybe some nissa i don't know still see oh yeah i hate that card but still sees ton of play oh i mean it's awesome right it's just the modern day fires of yavi maya yep fires oh, of yavi maya very very, so very we'll powerful card the commons here there's that Ooh, silhana ledge walker oh man that brings back man ledge walker and molder vine cloak crazy crazy, crazy powerful combo you can't beat it man that was a bit more of a cruel unstoppable here. We're just gonna keep going off into like remember when wow that was so cool hell of a year 2005. <laughs> God. is it 2005? Uh, anyway, man what's cruel trying to do here all right play creatures to the battlefield everything here speaks to that mm -hmm. and girl is girl bro just freaking right? drop a bunch of versatility crit the creatures so buff them up and just swing to the fences of your 23 spells in the limited deck <laughs> yep 18 or 19 of them are going to be creatures and you're going to have an okay time 
Some of them double as pump spells, like Rebel Belt Maka. Yep, some pump of them spells. Some of them play super differently on the play or the draw with anything with Haste Trample, yep. basically. And Bloodthirst in, as well is something that can be a little bit... If you like aggro, but when it works, it's definitely yeah. Grill Man. Rebel Belt Maka, another... Ravnica is really good at making good hill giants in uh, in limited. <laughs> yeah, that card that card's a beat. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, and uh, I think this is newer mm. for Wild Cantor, which I'm really excited I about. I think it is as well. Yeah. All right, and let's take a look at some of the booster fun for this. There it is. Yes, both treatments and then. So they mixed it up with all there. these Japanese oh, yeah. version. I really love this one. I think getting more planeswalkers. It's like uh, I don't know if all mythic will yeah, have I their own so cool. Japanese the version. But it's uh, sort of yep. it's that. interesting. Like I said, and then, uh, they're really the putting a lot of effort in putting different variants in, like this man. You got serialized cards. You got retro. You got Japanese art. Story. Man, man, oh man! So many variants. Yeah. They're still fun in doses. We want hexproof players to have a good time if you just want to put an equipment or, you know, Moldervine cloak on Sohana Ledgewalkers. 100% a lot of these yeah. cards you can will freaking tank in value, man. After that. But, but if, I mean, if you need them, you know, you can buy the singles. <laughs> I would wait, though. I would probably wait, like, maybe a week or two weeks. I mean, that said, I cast a lot of Wrath of God. We'll see if, if Manny will right, open the open this on. set. Let's look at one of my favorite guilds, the Is It. Is it? We've got some Ral Zarek in the classic form, and then we've got Expansion Explosion. Uh, maybe Expansion maybe Explosion. And maybe even the most powerful. Ravnica yeah, Explosion. Really cool. It's just so versatile, right? So for, I saw a ton of play during the Team of Reclamation era and Standard where mm -hmm. it could sometimes kill your opponent. And sometimes it just worked as another negate. And yeah. Isn't she fight. like a pro so player? Do it all. Being that's crazy. A really cool planeswalker that's usually Started like working on uh, Watsi. Really Lead for this set. Good, yeah. Interesting. Like I said, I, mean, I saw a couple of videos. Right, um, one, many are saying about Hasbro like, letting go of like thousands yeah, of exactly. employees, right. man. That part of why it's so strong in yeah. cube, it just does so much. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the uncommon. It's crazy. Is it guild? Uh, crack I mean, it's not just them like, though, so uh, it kind of makes sense because next year we don't know what's going to happen, man. We're still, yeah, you know, the interest rate, you know, the freaking economy, man. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense that uh, them two are letting go of a lot of people. Yep. Just like crackling Drake, murmuring mythic, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, this is it is charm? One of the harder ones to tune because okay. a lot of the cards that end up working well in an instant and sor pile of instant and sorcery deck end up being those sort of grindy pile of. Yeah, I really like they put the right so the watermark. The cards that were strong enough to make this deck work. That's very very so popular. That very very Ravnica man. Really tricky. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the commons to underscore all of that. Uh, compulsive course, research. Wow, course, nice. Compulsive research. Tell us about these. Well, I can tell you one Goblin thing about Electromancer. I learned while working on this set yeah. is that it says target player. Yeah, it does. I had literally never had <laughs> anyone, <laughs> myself, my opponent, no one ever target their opponent ever. Yep. But that's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Allowed. I, I feel like that's... Nobody, up, but nobody's just oh, playing it, you know. Target, I mean, if it... I, if you absolutely need to, then yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. There are ways. A few there are ways. Things, I guess. There are things. Someone in chat is very excited about Leapfrog. Leapfrog is back. <laughs> I love Leapfrog. Leapfrog. Leapfrog's great. Leapfrog. It's just, it's fun. It's like kind of punny. It just does a really it's good fun. job of like, how do I, I think sometimes we can just take things really seriously because this matters. And yeah. It's really cool. But it's fun to just be like, this is a game. Yeah. We're having a good time. We're playing a game together. We're having a good Saga. time. It's Play kind of boosters. Oh, it kills people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are they going to do? Nothing. It's, I mean, it's still, still on a ledge walker, but, hmm. you know. I think Blue Frog and Burning Prophet are both really fun because they also just tell you to play your cards on your turn. Yep. Which a lot of times you play instant sorcery, you kind of sit in hmm. your hands, play draw, go. And yep. that can be frustrating to some players. So having reasons that you would just... Cast Radical Idea on your main phase mm -hmm. was huge. Yep. 
All right, and let's take a look at some of the Weed Booster Fun. Ral Derek gets the Japanese. Gets the Japanese treatment. Is it charm? That's that's pretty hot. Retroversion, compulsive research, electromancer. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a hot thing, man. Definitely all these retro singles. Definitely gonna get bought out. But I don't think they're gonna be you know expensive. Maybe the retro fours in the beginning, but they're all gonna come down for sure. Yeah, this is I'm just gonna stare at this for a moment and just appreciate it. Aesthetically. This show's for me. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. They're all cool. All, for me. Um, all right. All the retro. Next up, we are going to move on to the Orzov. Orzov. And we're going to see Kaya. Get some Kaya uh, action. Sure. That's a pretty fantastic reprint there. Tesa, of course, Orzov Scion. And then Reviled, Revival Revenge here. Hmm. Kaya's another one of these downshifts that... Orzov, yeah, I think exactly the only time I played Orzov... But she was a guild... Uh, it was like black-white tokens. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I, mean, you know, I think... Maybe when I played Abzan... Uh, and cons, you know, Thoughtseize, yeah. Siege Rhino. This card's really good. But I've, I've played with it in Constructed a number of places. And being a not a... Uh, walker, that affects the board and, and has not a board. very powerful guild uh, don't don't sleep on this card um, is just a huge burn spell. yeah Red but still you know it has i mean two colors that's like, like oh kind of contradicting to each other you know <laughs> black and white like you know you got oh, swords of plowshares oh, you got yeah, sword yeah. um okay. path to exile you got yeah, thoughtseize right. inquisition yeah, of course leg really cool. so right, very powerful spells for sure on both here. Both colors. So, uh, one thing I want to point out here before we talk about the, the kind of mechanics of Orzov is the CCDD card there. Uh, that's not one of the creatures. No, this is one where we uh, kind of alluded to this earlier when talking about Bright Flame. We explored other Bright options mm -hmm. for these slots, right? We didn't want to just have the 10 cards straight pulled in from Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. We wanted to say, hey, is there anything else cool that we can put in here? Yep. And Death to the Deathless is one that we know shows up a good I don't one. recall any and I don't good ours of, of, of high power. I don't know. I'm kind of blanking out. Yeah. I don't think that one's necessarily like in Ravnica. quite as well. And we it was, it was people don't feel good about the cards yeah. they're getting out of their packs, right? Yeah. This is the kind of thing where we know what player wants to own this card. Mm -hmm. We know who's going to be happy to play with this, and that's enough to, to send it in. Yeah. All right, so tell me a little bit about the mechanics that are going on with the Orzhov Guild here. So this was one of the harder ones to nail down a strict... Is just blind obedience? For. No, that's, so kind of have an that's idea Throne of Drain, right? There's a lot of draining, there's nickeling and diming my opponent out, but that's not a whole archetype, yep. really. So there's a oh, you know what? Minor sacrifice I don't know if they're going to put Smothering Tithe. Playing well with some super blood know. artist when a creature dies, ping them effects, and we decide <laughs> just to... Just got reprinted, though. Wilds of Eldrain. Quite as I don't know. Like we'll see. Plus, it, uh, it already has a Japanese version. Asking, uh, extort, so let's look Are they going to do it again? Holy moly. Because there's some extort right there. Mm -hmm. and, and Blind Hunter, which I was raving mm. about beforehand. Uh, and Ill Gotten Inheritance was shocking. Wait, that, could, that, that was an uncommon before, wasn't it? No? It was Man. a common. It was a common. Okay. I just it, it, this one still does work today. It's still I yeah that card's actually pretty strong. It's on the backside of one of the crafting cards in LTI. Mm -hmm. Basically, yep. I'm still kind of uh, baffled Arthur, though that they're uh, revealing the entire really set of Ramnica. Inevitability, mm -hmm. I would call it in a yeah. way that is not actually. Card like I think this is like the first time they've done it. Hear about inevitability. Like this early. Extort is going to deal you damage. Yep. These flying and I guess maybe the reason why they hunter, are doing it because you, they saw the numbers, they saw the pre-ordered, you know, probably the hunter, distributors didn't buy a whole lot of this. Yep. So they're trying to like, hey, these are all the cards. So you guys can decide, you know. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Tin foil hat. A lot of sneaky card advantage. A lot of ways. Again, we were talking about this beforehand, where. You get in a where the Orzhov deck will get in a position where you're not dead for five turns, but you are dead. But in you are five dead. Turns. You are dead in five turns, yeah. and there's nothing you can do about it. A um, lot of sneaky ways to deal damage here. Orzhov is, is a really fun guild to put. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's take a look. Aristocrat. At the booster fun. Uh, those asking for different art for Tesa. Orzhov. Here there you go. go. 
uh, cartel aristocrats get Chesa, there as man. well as beautiful to the death I love yeah they got the on this page are so much japanese and, and retro in the set they're winning it art that pops but also kind of has a callback but yep. i still i'm still not convinced though on like buying a whole box or like mass box opening this which i love we have um for sure definitely buying singles if you need some i would highly recommend buy singles there's a lot of commons uh when the card image gallery goes up at the end of the show definitely go through it for those commons uh there's there's going to be some some more commons and everybody has their favorites so just because we haven't mentioned it doesn't mean it's not in the set. Mm. Uh, you'll need to check out the Cardinals Gallery to to check out oh, those, man. those niche comments that, that people. Completely we all have revealing the entire set. We all have fond memories yeah. of a lot of this stuff. Right, we spent how how many times have I said Thunder Song Trumpeter today? It, it, <laughs> more more times than I've heard Thunder Song Trumpeter in probably the probably, last decade. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think anyone has thought about that card this month. Well, I have, but you have, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to Rakdos for the Rakdos fans out there. Rakdos, uh, we've got Infernal Tutor as well. We've got Infernal wow. Tutor, which is coming back. Priest of the Forgotten Gods and uh, Bedek Bedazzle, which is also Ooh, seen a Infernal Tutor play, uh, due to Discovery lately. I don't think yeah, it has a retro the version yet. It's also just showing up a lot in any of the Mayhem Interesting. Yep. Catavan Pioneer decks. I know some people played it with Tyvar out mm -hmm. of all of hmm. the ones. So yep. This is one that... Honestly, it's just aged remarkably, and it, Infernal Tutor, we'll, we'll get more to it later, yep. uh, but this is one of the cards I'm the most excited about being in the set for Oh, reasons. okay. <laughs> yep. Infernal for Tutor. Reasons. Yeah, and uh, for those asking to clarify the context, Tutor, man. the full card image gallery, the entire set is going to be out at the end of this The show. entire On set. MPG.com. After the show is over, wow. uh, around... 11, wow, we still have a lot to get to. We may run over 11 o'clock. They're doing um, this. So, like, like on the, holidays, uh, Christmas, the full set. everything's going right, to get dumped. Going because I just <laughs> so you can start buying them up. Uh, let's look at the uncommon <laughs> just kidding. of Rakdos. We're, we're bathing in this nostalgia. Oh, All right. light up Tell the stage. The Rakdos Mayhem yeah, Devil. Top to bottom. We've got Demon Fire. We've got Rakdos. Demon Rakdos. Fire? Isn't that rare? Fly deck. For anyone who hasn't spent... A depressing amount hmm, of time that downshifted. playing, you know, 20 years, something like that. Yep. Sly is basically play all your cards out, see who's dead. Yep. You're just attacking as fast as you can. Everything involves... Isn't Sly mono red? Drops. You're playing a bunch of two drops. And you're even getting paid for emptying your hand. Demon Fire becomes uncounterable when you're empty-handed. Rakdos Pit Dragon, is it double strike when, it's empty, when mm -hmm. you're empty-handed? Yep. It just... These it are cards that tell you, you put your cards on the table mm -hmm. and kill them. Yep. Just set the terms of the entire mm. game on the first turn. I have died in Demon Fire. Rock those. Uh, and I'm going to die to it more because it's an uncommon. Let's take a look at the commons. I'll try to wax nostalgic a little bit less. Gob Hobbler Screw Rats. the critics. Love that you're back. Skewer the critics. Tell us about these. Oh, okay. So Blade Juggler is maybe my favorite limited comment Blade of Juggler all time. Blade Juggler is really good, yeah. I, I love Ravnica Legion's Draft. It's what got me qualified for my first tabletop pro tour. Oh, I um, knew it, yeah. That card is so much Her fun voice was really, like, the critics, if you're a lava familiar player, to me. Here's a, lot, here's a lava spike. Come on, so, awesome. yeah, yeah, she was, she was a pro tour player. We actually get to put anything close to Chain Lightning into Standard or anything like that. And this is a card that we took a risk on and it, it and it worked out we took the risk as, as the person being skewered may disagree all right let's take a look at the booster fun we've got uh, wow uh, infernal, infernal tutor, tutor retro oh, yeah. and this is one that it this has felt like such a long time coming yeah i think it's all of these are first time we first time yeah, retro cards all of these cards i think right it wasn't it no wasn't it's, it's just yeah. the kind of one of my favorite things to do while working here is to do something that everyone just assumes we already did because yeah. it's that obvious that mm -hmm. we need to yeah i mean the retro frames for the rest of these is you know my my yeah the obvious cards the they probably won't put dublin die. season they probably won't put They're smuttering boring. tide because oh, those are like the yeah, obvious yeah, obvious ravnica oh, cards yeah, I, I play Modern burn. Have but I don't know. Out. I might be wrong. So excited to get more copies of Skewer the Critics like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on to Celestia. 
Selesnia. Court of Calling. OG Art. Wow. Myself. All right, we got Tulsimir, we've got Ashur Assemble. <clears throat> Tell us about these. Yeah, I mean, Court of Calling is just maybe one of the most, how do I put this, sort of intuitive magic cards ever, right? Convoke has yeah. got to be top 10 mechanics all time. Great mechanics. Pretty easily. Yep. And yeah, Convoke is so powerful, man. Creatures into one big creature. Yep. That's just so satisfying to be able to do. This is just, it, it's got to be one of the most fun cards ever made. So it's, it's super it fun. It's super strong. I literally. Very powerful. Did you not play with this card this morning in Explorer? <laughs> um, I mean, it's just great. I played it, my mono green. I, I think Court of Calling is one of the first cards in the file. Yeah. You uh, knew it, it was going to be here. As it should be. All right, uncommon. As it should be. Here we go. Doubling season two. We got some more of these. We've got uh -huh. Luxnia Guild Mage, another like all timer in terms of limited. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh Devouring Light, underrated in my view. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's not like people yeah. don't value it. It's just they don't realize it is busted. Maybe limited. You cast that with no man on tap, so it feels pretty good. Oh yeah. Uh Celestia Evangel. Sneakily, uh, very one, strong. One of the more powerful cards in this list. It list. might be my pick for the strongest non-rare pack one, pick one. Yeah. It, it's just so nice. If you ever get to untap with it, you're like, oh, my opponent never gets to attack again. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Pretty good. All right, it's, let's take a look at the commons, which uh, some more like Fists of Ironwood into Siege Worm is just one of those classic. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it was so it's so frequent that if you're on the draw, you can even fist of iron with your opponent's creature yeah. to just get the two yeah. twos. You're like, what am I? What are you gonna do? Trample over with your two. There's no far yeah. seek. Okay, There's no but utopia sprawl. Yep. Uh, okay, so we've got oh. convoke. Maybe uh, later. A bit here populates in this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is one where we there are only 29 guild mechanics because still convoke underwhelming. Yeah. We did want to make sure we did hit those token notes. So Still not making me buy a box or two or case, man. But definitely singles. 100% singles. We dug deep to find the things that we could that are more than just making a 1-1. All right, and let's take a look at the booster fun. There it is. There it is, retro. Court of Calling, bro. Retro. It's here. It's Total here. Theater, that vision, Devouring Light. Again, you're underrating this card. I think I think there's some, <laughs> there's some strategies in Commander that should be playing it. Uh, and then Call of the Conclave to get one of the, the most huh? efficient mana-wise cards to populate. Yeah, and you know, we really wanted to fit Watch Wolf into the set because it's a classic. But yep. because of Populate, it was really hard to not just go with Call of the Conclave. Because Ooh, it Watch it Wolf, better. man. Yep, makes sense. All right. Last guild, we've still got a bit to talk about though. Uh, Simic. Simic. Blue green. We've got Prime Speaker Zagana. Zagana. Prime with that new art, and then. Look at that art, man. Trident. Replicate. Bit of a tongue twister there. Another one that even showed up in Pioneer kind of recently. Avoid slime. I think this Prime Speaker Zagana is a downshift, if memory serves. Well, I know it originally it, was a mythic. It, it right? was originally a mythic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mythic. Sure. L. Sure, sure. Either way, Chat probably knows. part of the legend yeah. cycle. Yeah, it was a mythic. We just know plays really well. You make a big creature, and then you draw a bunch of cards. Yep, absolutely. All right, and then uncommons here. Maybe. Come on. I heard a noise that sounded like a computer, and then... Boom. There we go. Okay, uncommon. Oh, there you go. All right. Farsi. Well, producer Sean says we're all good. <laughs> we got Farsi. Uh, Frilled Mystic. Frilled Mystic. Uh, Very powerful. Sharkdo Crab. These are, these are some fantastic. Oh, things. yeah. These are just, they're so much fun. And, you know, one of the things I'll... I'll Mystic Snake still, though, is, because uh, the casting cost hat. on Frilled Mystic is hat. somewhat hat. harder. But still, I mean, you can play both. I hate it so much. And this a Simic, the yeah. Simic Commander. Or, or my Solana Ledge Walker. This is one where even... If you're heavy on creatures, streamer, for sure. My, my emote for <laughs> Salt was Frilled Mystic. <laughs> I think I've played I both in uh, Animor, I think. Blue, color spell. That's totally my jam. On the other hand, it attacks me after it does that, and that's just not that's fair. not fair. That's no. not fair. Three powers is too many powers it's for that. Too many powers. It's, <laughs> yeah, but no, really, really strong card. Um, okay, moving on. We've got the moving commons, on. and uh, one of my favorite. Uh, Coiling Oracle. Oh my god! Oracle, just right away, one of my favorite cards of all time. 
so many of the all-timer classics are from the original Ravnica series. So it's just like, more. wow. What? It's, the designs are just... Uh, so many reprints, bro. Uh, Cloudfin Raptor. Uh, really sneaky, strong card with new art. Oh, yeah, I, I absolutely loved this facelift so much. Mm -hmm. This is one where it was the first time I actually got to work with uh, Ovidio, who was the, yep. um, I believe, mm. was one of the leads for LCI. Mm -hmm. yes. um, and just watching him work and on these concepts was just jaw-dropping. Jaw yep. Wonderful. Thought wonderful I heard something. Yep. Heal and Squirter, very powerful and limited. Maybe um, the baby's waking up. I want to stay on and Raptor because of the retro frame. Look, I'm not a huge Cloudfin Raptor fan, but <laughs> you gotta hand you've it to got, it. Like, Look at that. The centered flying, centered oh, flying. The little baby Cloudfin Raptor. Look at oh my gosh, I want, and the coiling Oracle obviously <laughs> just you know gives me feelings. It just feels so good. It does. It looks it nice though. Right again, it feels like coiling Oracle has been around for so long that yeah. it should be in that frame. It, it should be free card now. Like, coiling or card Oracle card should card be free. So use that sort of thing. Yeah. So much. It's All the so, time. so cool. It just plays so well. Yep. Uh, we have another slide of these. There we go. Oh, oh that's nice. Pandemic. We've got Experiment 1. That's nice. Farseek and Frilled Mystic. Definitely Farseek upgrading some, some of my have, right? mm -hmm. it isn't necessarily cards into retro, retro though. Themed, but it, it I think Court of retro. Calling yeah. for sure. Farseek, I think I have. No, yep. do I have Farseek? No. And then finally Definitely Court of Calling. Ah, uh, look at that Japanese All right. prime speaker. Uh, there wow. is one more sort of, we'll call it secret archetype, but a, another archetype, because uh, we talked secret? about the mana fixing slot. There are going to be a secret lot of gates archetype. in this. So there's a tiny little uh, gate sub team. Let's show off those cards. Gate? And these were for the players that okay. kind of alluded to it when talking about chromatic links. Open the gates. Some people who are going to sit down and they're going to say, I want to do as many covers as possible. Yep. I'm going to take a bunch of lands and I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that <sighs> the players does come in. So much information, man. Being led down a dead end. Yep. Right. And we didn't have to commit that many slots to that archetype because it plays so many colors. It just gets to play what it wants. Yeah. And having something like Gate Colossus is just kind of a freebie, right? It takes one slot. Yep. And Only one that has retro. Just good fixing. The other ones doesn't. Even if you're not in the Gates deck. And a Boreal Grazer in retro frame? Come on. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Sick out of here. Sick out of here. <laughs> Come on. Okay. It's so cool. <laughs> All right. Next, we are going to talk about uh, some... Some collector booster exclusives because there is yep. a set of cards in this set that are Exclusive. not in the main draftable set but yep. are collector booster exclusives in mm -hmm. retro fame specifically. Can you talk a little bit about it first why All they right. aren't in the main set, why they're shifted over here? Yeah, so in a lot of ways, this set was kind of meant to be a love letter to people who have been playing for a long time, mm -hmm. love Ravnica, and we wanted to make sure that we actually... They're were targeting the all of, of the yeah. old guys. Yeah. Whenever they think of Ravnica, yeah. right? And all the OG... Don't play well in draft. Yeah. OG players back in the day. In yep. Some of them were... I think we're going to show this on screen later. Yeah, we're um, show them all. Shattering Spree is an example of one that doesn't... Many of them are not buying, blow though. Blow like, signet, you want the cards... As far as, like, boxes. Right, yeah. but... There is a way we need but to make that card. I could be wrong. Yeah. Right. And the, the solution Definitely going to buy this some cards and trade in some of these uh, um, bulk cards for these retro cards. The retro frame cards only show up in the collector booster. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at some of those. We'll just run through that list. We've got Shambling Shell, Sphere of Safety. Wow, Sphere of Safety. Narco Amoeba. Another draft or a dredge all star. It doesn't say dredge, but that's a dredge. Card. Ooh. Turnabout with that uh, the the IDW comic book art. Creeping chill, dark blast. Two more. These are nice cards that don't say. Well, dark blast. That's dredge. There's that shattering <laughs> spree that you mentioned, and then we've got perilous. I think the only reason why this set really maybe is a now there is another a better buy it's not exactly a question, um not, not because of the the cards in the set but reason. because of for it has serialized cards it time, has you'll understand collector um, boosters but um uh, it also has an you know if you compare this to other remastered the 
uh, draft boosters. Correct. This is one that uh, I will, I'll say it's infamous. It's Pack Rat. Rat. We've, uh, Look we've at that Japanese art, man. That this is, is that is so nice. We knew this kind of had a tendency. Can you to imagine draft your entire yeah. deck right. is freaking but Pack is Rat, it and it's cool. it's yeah. that yeah. version Rat right there, the Japanese. Everyone is going to think about whenever they think about RTR era. Yep. Right. And as a result, we, we want it to be somewhere in the set, but we do want it to show up a lot less than normal. So this is a card that doesn't have a regular treatment yeah. in the set. And I don't believe you can open the retro ones in draft boosters, but you can open the Japanese style. Oh, card. wow. Yeah. So it's some pretty retro pretty cards are very exclusive less frequently and creates more to just collector yeah. boxes. So. But that yeah. is something that we did want to make sure was in the set because it is cool, it is iconic, and we want people to be able to have this card. Yeah, but it will. If you see this card in your draft booster, draft it. Take it and put 39 swamps in your deck with it and, and you're done. mulligan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> people did that in one game. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Actually it's, this card's yeah. so strong. I, I mean, I think it is less strong than it was in Return to Ravnica because we balanced phones, so much around phones the dying. original hybrid hybrid guild maintenance. I gotta yeah. attach the, so a lot more shocks in the charger than Ravnica, or Return to Ravnica had. But it's freaking almost an hour, man. Alright, uh, we had a request to do retro uh, Thespian Space. So let's, let's do that. Let's get to that. Okay, uh, uh, I'll we're call gonna, we're gonna we're gonna get we're, we don't need to go. Oh, there it is. Oh, Pithing it. Needle, uh, Karn's Bastion. Karn's Bastion. Thespian uh, Stage. Really cool, proliferate. And uh, yeah, Thespian Stage. Yeah, we technically have proliferate in the set. I think we have Kiora's hmm. Dam Breaker at common. Pretty nice. Yeah, we, yeah, I, we didn't show it, it slide, but it's there. Yep. Those are the only two proliferate cards. We tried to stick to Guild Mechanics. Mazes so and Niv Mizzet. Artwork. Yeah. Wow. As well as Niv Mizzet Reborn and Mazes End. These are all cards that we think are fun. Ah, it's we still, I don't know, man. These can exist without necessarily making the draft environment worse. Yep. And if you show up, I'm still not feeling it though. Your local game store. There's Is it just? Promo. Oh, you get a free. Just a classic. This was promo. Uh, I, when like comparing this. Out, this was comparing this to like other remastered. It's not like. I got. It's not like Force of Will, you know, Vampiric Tutor, or, I don't know, man, you know, Damnation, uh, Chalice of the Void, Thoughtseize, you know, I don't know. And then I believe the final thing we have, oh, we're going to actually come in on time. Good job, us. <laughs> We, we could have spent so much more time. Oh, I, I could be here all day. Oh, my God. We can't do that. Um, uh, we can't be here all so day. There are, uh, as we announced on social the other week, there are serialized cards in this set. Uh, and I think we have some of them on the screen in a moment. Maybe. Let's see. Serialized cards? So, nope. Okay. Never mind. I'm wrong. Nope. Uh, looking at something not, old. But, not uh, yet. If you check out not the, yet. Uh, We're not going to reveal that. Uh, We're not going to reveal that. Twitter account. Uh, we showed off serialized, um, I think it was uh, Shocklands, and then there's a couple other that get the serialized treatment as mm -hmm. well. Um, again, if you head to the card image gallery after the show, you can sort by what has what sort of treatment, and you'll be able to pull all of that together as well. Um, we were going to do Q&A, but we talked a lot about Ravnica nope. Remastered. We're not going to so, answer your questions uh, in the stream. Remastered comes out when? Why would you do this? They don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm get, I, I believe it's January 12th. It is. Correct. Oh, good job. January 12th. All right. All right. So <laughs> uh, check with your local game store about release events. It's coming in 2024, very early on. A uh, lot of cool stuff in here. If you head to Daily MTV. A lot of cool stuff, man, but. Full card image gallery, as well as I don't know, man. Uh, if you want to know, like, what treatments are found where, Ravnica Remastered is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. There's only draft boosters. And collectors. Draft and collectors. Types of boosters for this set. Yep. Uh, also, it's not play boosters yet. Want to get the details? Collecting Ravnica Remastered will be available, as well as the card image gallery, which is sortable by both product type and treatment type. So oh man, they could have put set there. boosters, um, the art cards. Thank you for tuning in. You know. Please enjoy. So that's gonna be it, man. In... Oh man, so I don't know. Um, I kind of have a mixed feelings with with this set. Um, having them re reveal the entire set uh, this early and, you know, 
like I said, it's like comparing it to other remastered set. You, you, you kind of ha don't have that, you know, force of will, you know, um, freaking Vampiric Tutor, Sylvan Library, all the tutors, man. Um, I mean, yeah, you get, you know, Birds of Paradise, all these Shocklands. Um, I think they're really, really banking on uh, trying to sell this with this set has Japanese art. This set has serialized cards, so go chase it. Um, I think that's probably what they're trying to do. And hopefully, maybe uh, the draft experience, which usually Ravnica is always, always have a nice draft experience. Man. So, you know, hopefully that's that's what they're trying to do, you know, with this set. But um, it's still very underwhelming, in my opinion, uh, as far as like the cards in the set. Don't forget, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video. And with that, anger out, boys. Peace.